Complaints Handling, the NBC Radio Interview. Tino and wife celebrate on 4 FM breakfast show Friday morning, Kuchalo. Right now, we, not, we need to speak with our expert on issues of customer service. This is Mr. Owen Katongo Kalanda. He is Management and Leadership Advisor. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. All right, so we're talking about customer service and, and how people get around um, the issue of um, airing out grievances. Um, you are a leadership and management expert. Just tell us how um, organizations need to um, handle matters of, of such nature with uh, the clientele. Okay, uh, thank you so much. It's really important that uh, companies, first of all, understand the importance of uh, good customer service. Because when customers are well taken care of, then they can now continue coming to the business or to the institution and get the service or buy the product. So what is required is that uh, companies should put in place uh, mechanisms to ensure that they handle complaints that can come from uh, uh, their customers or clients or stakeholders. In some sectors or industries, it's actually a requirement. So what that means is that uh, the institution need to come up with a policy which should actually be approved by the board and then it is implemented by management and the employees. And within the institution, there should be a designated uh, department that handles the complaints that come from uh, the, the clients or the customers. And then there should even be officers who are actually assigned to make sure that they are handling the customers' uh, complaints and those complaints are actually being resolved in a timely manner. Right. Yeah, because we have we have seen um, I've been to places where they're telling me there's a suggestion box here mm -hmm. um, that looks like it hasn't it's been gathering dust. <laughs> it, it, it's got nothing in it, you know. Uh, why put up such fronts when they know that they actually don't use them? Does that affect the confidence of that particular service provider to to the public? Yeah, so actually you have to understand that uh, when it comes to uh, complaints handling, it's important that the institution is very clear on how it will actually receive the complaints from the, from the general public or, the, or its customers. That means the way the company or the institution is going to receive the, the complaints needs to be very clear. Uh, if they are going to use some forms, those things need to be clear. But in the modern era, really, it's important that the institution can be able to use various forms, be it the forms or the letters or electronic complaints, the handling procedures, so that the, there is timeliness in the manner in which the, the institution handles the complaints coming from, from the people. That's another issue, um, the, you know, a time frame, a time limit. Yes. I know that insurance companies have not been given um, a time limit by the umbrella uh, mother body, uh, PIA, um, in which to address concerns of, you know, um, the, the clients. But we don't know if it's the same with other industries. If I bring a complaint to you today yes. um, as a service provider, I'll have to wait indefinitely. I don't know if people even call back to say, oh, madam, we're actually addressing your complaint and, and this and that. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah, and it's, very true. it's important that institutions are very clear about how they will handle every uh, complaint that comes. That means that you need to have the place when the complaint is received. How much time will it take for the complaints to be analyzed and then uh, the, the, the person is responded to? Because what happens is that if the general public or the customers or clients do not receive feedback, then they start losing their confidence. And remember, when there are complaints against the institution itself or the employees of the institution, and the people are not uh, feeling that there is any action being taken, then they start to lose the confidence in the, in the, in the institution. So it's important that uh, institutions and companies understand the importance of making sure that the complaints handling procedures are very clear. But also within the institution, if a complaint is coming, 
the department or the individual responsible should take action. And when they are not taking action, management should take action on that individual or that officer who is not handling the complaints because then they are, they are now demonstrating that they take these matters uh, very serious. Mm, seriously, yeah. So t t talking about taking action, um, one of our senior citizens called earlier and said, look, when I bring a complaint to a certain office or a service provider, I, I expect them to actually call the person um, with whom I have a problem and ask if I've been there and they know of that complaint and then if they, then, then they should assure me that they will address this. Uh, talking about work ethic, is, is that is that okay for my, my supervisor to call me in the presence of, of the person that feels aggrieved and say, Lena, this person has come with this complaint. Um, did you did you attend to them, you know, and then he can attend to that person after I leave? Yeah, so, so normally what happens is that when there is a complaint, and uh, one of the things we have to emphasize, especially to the general public as well as customers, when they are lodging a complaint, it's important that they give all the necessary details about that complaint, meaning when did this thing happen, do they remember the officer who attended to them, and any other things that, were, that are necessary to identify who was handling the case. So that now internally, the, the institution or the supervisor of that person will now sit down with that person and say, we have this complaint, what exactly happened? So that the issue is resolved. And in some, in some cases, what happens is that the institution will then um, undertake some further training for the staff to ensure that they are saving the customers or the clients better. And in other cases, disciplinary cases actually, uh, I mean, disciplinary processes start. The person will be charged if they are not changing and they can actually end up being fired. That is institutions that take these matters serious. Right. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think you have spoken on both the parts of, of the clients, those that are receiving services, and even those that, that are giving it, uh, Mr. Kalando. I'd like to thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like us to take away? No, no, just uh, to appreciate for uh, this opportunity to talk to the people and also to encourage uh, the institutions to put in place this kind of systems and uh, procedures that help them to handle uh, customers well so that then you can even increase the service levels as well as your business going going forward, which is good for the company or institution and the nation at large. Absolutely. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. All right, so that's Mr. Owen Katongo Kabanda, who is a management and leadership advisor, talking to us on the need for companies to invest in, you know, several ways of getting, uh, giving feedback to clients and addressing concerns that come um, with service delivery. And also to us, uh, the consumers or whatever services and products, to make sure that um, if we are grieved, make sure you get the details properly of uh, that particular service, uh, the, the actual day it happened, and um, uh, perhaps even the details of the person that attended to you. Um, I think a lot of institutions, like the police service, uh, uh, where else? Even in shops, I think you can actually tell. There will be a name tag, Lina Zulu, um, supervisor, or Lina Zulu, cashier, or something like that. You, you'll be able to tell who attended to you and, um, you know, who mishandled your matter, as it were, so that if you have to report it, you know where to start. Let's uh, get some music going. Remember that uh, 8.45 is sports time with Dan Samachizopar. Yeah.